Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de la Lande. La Lande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. It's first thing in the morning, but there's a big day ahead. I have to get up, wash my hair because it's Selma's birthday and we're all going to celebrate. Though just to specify, I don't actually just wash my hair on Selma's birthday. It's at least twice a year. <laughs> but I also have to get up because Ian needs me to go to Brico with him. We've got all sorts of problems with supplies. It's really hard to get any building supplies at the moment. So we have to leave early. Oh, I can see that Thor is already up and already in the mood for love. Well, that's not a bad sight first thing in the morning. I'm really happy standing here filming him, but I must be ready by the time Ian arrives. I think I have to accept that it's just going to be a wet hair day. It can dry naturally. Come on, Thor, don't give up. I know she's not looking very interested at all. There's always hope. Think of the success you had last year. Better luck another day. Good morning. Good morning. What's happening here? Stealing our roses. Now. Stealing roses. <laughs> yeah, we're going to repot these. Yeah. They're getting a bit big for their pots now. Okay, and are they going in here? We don't know. Okay, excellent. Love it. <laughs> Basically, mummy That's hasn't told us what to do yeah. with them yet. Um, yeah, well, we don't want to plant anything permanent yet. Yeah, until we've had the facade yeah. done. So what else would you be working on today? What fun things lie ahead? Nothing that fun today. Well, we've got some treatment yeah. for the box. Yeah. Chemical treatment. Oh, thank goodness. Yes, because, well, do you want to tell everyone what you found? Yeah, we've got box caterpillar. This is horrific. I'll show everyone the photo that you yeah, sent to me. Yeah, there was a lot. Um, so we've been picking, we've been spending sort of 40 minutes at the end of each day picking them out. How many are there? We're getting a good full handful of each day. Oh, this is horrific. Yeah. There's none it's in the real. walled garden at the moment. Touch wood. Yeah. No, Which that would be the hardest one to so, so, so they must have come with the new plants. box plants. Yeah, it's, well they, they tend to be attacking the bigger ones, the bigger bushes. Okay. Um, the little yeah. ones haven't got any on, have they? They haven't. No. Strange. Okay. The, out the back has got them. Ones at the side. Oh, okay. So it's not just the new lot that arrived. Yeah. They own the area. Yeah. yeah. So we're picking them out, and we're going to spray this stuff, which is when they eat the leaf, they die. Okay. So. And our chickens won't eat them, will they? <laughs> Fussy chickens. <laughs> Far too posh, aren't they? David's like just feed them to the chickens. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, good luck with it, and I'll come out and see you later. Okay. <laughs> Davey and I will come out later to look at the clematis as well. Yeah, good. Is Can't there wait. More There's more coming. Oh, yes. Right, okay. <laughs> hello, hello. Hi. I'm sure I can hear an Ian, or I can hear several Ian's. <laughs> yeah. Hello. I just saw your message. Unfortunately, my phone was down here and I was up the top. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, don't worry about that. Uh, we're ready when you are. Yeah, I'll just slip. Half a cup of coffee. Well, first, maybe whilst you're having your coffee, we could look at what you've done. Mm. I mean, you are the first to step over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, can we go in? We can okay. walk on it. Yeah. I've got a little bit of footage of this actually happening, which I think the world will want to see. Yeah. So I'll switch to that now. That was quite a job. That was. Well, because we couldn't get a concrete lorry in, yeah. Yeah. It was a lot. <laughs> Nine hours it took. It all had to be done by hand. When it was done, it's in, it's absolutely flat. It's, yes. It, it's only a tamped finish because we don't know exactly what floor we're going to put on when we do heat match, raised floors, whatever. Okay, so, well, luckily Davy's here now, so later we can grab Davy and have good. a good yeah. chat about exactly what our next oh, next yeah. thing is. Because I want to go over a couple of things with Davy. External walls, obviously, going to have a lot more insulation. And I'm going to count this one as an external wall because it is just the cardboard at the moment. 
Right, yes, super, absolutely. Yeah, super insulated, that one as well. Yes. Um, this is fantastic. And the good news is we've got all the materials to get this and Jerry's done coming next Friday. Oh, that's amazing. Ah, you managed to get the material, so it's just the installation we're short of it's now. Just the we're that's what we're going to go and try going. and work out at the Hopefully DIY shop. From, uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Well, actually, as we're going to the DIY shop, I will grab some more pictures to have framed. Okay. Because every time I go, I take a couple more. Of course. Good idea. Good idea. So you can finish your coffee in peace. Okay. And I got up specially and washed my hair, Ian. I, I, I know. I, 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 I don't. Words fail me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fail me. It's so early in the morning. Oh, yes. Just the man I needed. Okay. We need to Let's get go. paintings to take with us to Brico. Oh, sure. Okay. Like the next lot. And before we go, let's have a little look in here. I have a little peek already. Now, we can't go in here because this is the line crete. This is a different system to next door. Here, we're not using tanking, we're using something breathable. And we put a French drain on the other side and we're adding heating. So we're going to see if that helps to deal with the damp problems. Um, but it didn't always look like this because it takes a long time to dry. And we did have a small problem once it had been laid. Small visitor. Small visitor. I'll just flash back in time to show you all that. Oh dear, oh dear, dear, dear. Diesel? But Matt and Dylan have fixed it now. It's all perfect again. We have forgiven Diesel. And now we just have to leave it for two weeks to dry before we can carry on with this room. These are the ones that we're taking in the next batch. Beautiful one of Lalande. This is one that my father did of me just to work out how to draw my face. He always said I was really difficult to capture but I think that I'll get it framed. And the two lovely chicken embroideries that we were sent specifically for Chicken Village. I love them and I want them well framed. What parcel has arrived? I'm not sure. Oh, this, so this is, how you do, this is how you do the <laughs> caddo. Yes. We explain to everyone that when gifts arrive. We put the date. Date goes straight on. Yeah. We and then the box and we open them in order. <laughs> yes, uh, first I check if they have some food inside. Okay, so I don't peek, but Natty peeks. Yeah. Oh, well, you can. Oh, is that yes, plants. <laughs> okay, that's not a gift. This is something that's we need to open. <gasps> yeah. This is the clematis that Davy yeah. ordered. Polish spirit, viticello group. How exciting. Well, I'll take them out to the garden. Mm -hmm. Thanks, yes, Natty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have my tea, I have the paintings, we are good to go. Like a little family outing yes. with the little one in the back. We think this hedgehog is alive. Philip has he spotted is. it. Yes. It's stranded in the middle of the road, so we're going to stop and oh gosh. What if these cars get it? Oh, I'm really worried. Okay, okay you're gonna run up. Yes. Take the scarf to hold it. Poor little thing. I'm gonna walk this way first. Yeah, not in the middle of the road. Oh no. Oh my goodness. This is horrifying. Oh, poor thing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hang on, let's have a look. I can't focus. Hi, Hedgehog. You're all right. You're safe now. As we were first driving up, he seemed to be walking towards this side That's of the road. That's what I thought too. But just now he was running towards the other side but of I the road. But I think it was maybe because I was uh, running up to him as a lunatic. Yeah, maybe. So I think originally we saw him walking towards this side of the road. What do you want to do me to put him? Um, I would put him on the other side of this little ditch under the hedge. Do you think he can get through? I mean, he is called a hedgehog, right? Put him near a hedge. What? Oh. put him through that. Poor little thing. I'm it's so happy I spotted Such him. a busy road. We quite literally did a 180 when we left. Yes. <laughs> and then when we were the other side, uh, when we, we were about to turn, there were two trucks. Two massive trucks oh. just managed to avoid him before I started filming. They passed us 
And then Philip said, never mind, even though he's probably been squashed or check anyway. Yeah. I was convinced he'd be flattened. There's a little gate up there towards the field. It be all right. Little smokes. He's got, he's got all his spikes out. Yeah. And my beautiful scarf. <laughs> well, being used for, I was going to say humanitarian purposes, but hedgehog, hedgehogitarian purposes. In the field there. I put it here near the hedge. I was, I was afraid he was going to walk this way if we put him there. The entire forest. I reckon he'll walk along here, down there. That, well, that's... That would be a very sensible route for him to take. What are we going to call him? Oh, you're going to name him just before he goes? Yeah. Okay. Um, Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's quite cute, actually. Okay, little one. I thought Ian was the little one today. <laughs> oh, I guess I can see his little nose. Okay, bye, Lucky. The spikes go slightly through. Uh, Out. Thank goodness he's alive. Right, Philip Janssen, Hedgehog Rescue Services. I think he's playing dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's kind of face down now. Yeah, he's fine. So he'll, and then. Can you show me again what he's gonna do? <laughs> he's gonna lift his body up and then his little legs are gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cute when they do that. Hi, I love this little town. It is cute, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's wonderful. It's very pretty. There's your new shop, Ian. Yeah. And we're here because we're going to the boulangerie to pick up a cake for some. Do you the middle one with all the fruits? Oui. D'accord, merci. Or the one with the raspberries? Oh, uh, quelle est la différence avec celui-ci? So there's Italian meringue, vanilla cream, and strawberry mousse on this one. Et celui-ci? Ah, and that's vanilla cream with fresh fruit inside and on the top. Okay, which one do you want? I think it's the fruit one. I think it's really beautiful. Let's go. This is going to be delicious. Someone's also going to make his apple pie. But I think it's nice for him to have a cake on his birthday that he didn't make as well. We have got a cake Ooh. for Selma's birthday. Ooh. Isn't it pretty? Wow. <laughs> wow. Very springy. That's what That's I thought. Nice. Oh, do you want to see it, Natty? Mm. And what is the... Right. Oh, the... be careful. Oh my gosh, it looks this amazing. So nice. And actually, yes, yeah. so I'm just realising something exciting just happened that you don't know about yet. Oh. Michael Potts and Ruth have arrived. <laughs> and look, he's already making bread. What's nice. Every time you get here, you're making bread. It's amazing. It's so good. What stage are we at now? We're just... Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm uh, pouring flour into... Yeah, into pouring flour. Yeah, decanting flour. Decanting this flour. is the flour that is milled only five kilometres from here. This is really, really good flour. Yeah. Um, what I'm doing is feeding our little starter. So this is our starter. Poor Michael had to start another starter. Starter, starter, because yeah. we killed the other one as well, didn't we? Yeah. Why do you point the camera? Why do you me? think I'm pointing the camera at you, Nessie? Who said? Who? <laughs> <laughs> she kept it alive for a while. Though. We've all kept it alive for a while. We've all killed it. So it everyone. Took too long to come back. Yeah. Right. It's it is his fault. his fault. Yeah, it is. <laughs> And I think you've learnt by now. Michael, just take the starter back with you and bring it back because none of us keep your starter alive. Well, I thought you could, might make some bread while I'm gone, you know. No, that would be a... treachery. I mean, if we've got a proper tutorial. Oh, well, no, someone asked me for a no, tutorial. No, no. Oh, okay, he did it. Oh, he yeah. did? Okay. He asked. Yeah. Okay. He, he's great doing the tutorials. Then uh, the thing is to have the time, uh, the, the, how do you say We can have bread sense? school. Let's do bread school. We're doing bread school. You're going to teach oh Philip goodness. how to make bread. Sounds good. <laughs> I know they started dead. I can see it. <laughs> Just don't say it out loud or hurt its feelings. <laughs> we'll end the little starter.
Davy and I have come to the garden to see the new clematis that you chose. Yeah. Oh, they look so pretty with the one. I've got it in a trench. Look at the colour. It's such a beautiful colour. So why did you choose these specific ones? Well, clematis exist in three groups. Yes. So they're grouped when they flower mainly. Mm. And, and the group also tells you when you have to prune them. Yes. Uh, pr group one is the kind that's just finishing flower now. So these are all group two and three uh, species because they're a little bit less uh, invasive. Uh, group one clematis are quite rampant. So we've uh, just got two and three. Yeah, indeed. Uh, so the ones that uh, Dan planted three weeks ago were all the group two uh, species. Yes. Uh, they flower normally starting just about now. Uh, and then As we can see. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> just about. Uh, and they have a, a main flowering period between now and about a month. And then they stop flowering for a bit. And then yes. they may reflower at the end of... Uh, the summer, so the start of, of August to the end of August. Yes. Uh, but the first flush of flower is always much more it's the most magnificent uh, yeah, one. than the second one. And then the group three species, they are the species that flower at the end of summer. So they will only, yes. only start flowering uh, the end of July and then all the way up to September, possibly. Wow. So we'll have flowers pretty much throughout the summer, yeah. just maybe not June. June may be empty, that's true. Okay. Uh, the overlap between the two depend, yeah. depends on other things as well. The climate of the year will also have an impact on how uh, they flower at that point. How many years do you think it'll take until they're covering nicely? Well, this year they're probably just going to take to, to establish. Yes. Um, they, will, they will form shoots mm. um, that, that grow up to maybe uh, your height. <laughs> Baby shoots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you, you should be able to see all of them uh, yes. quite readily when you enter the garden. Even this year? Uh, even this year, yeah. But then starting from mm. next year, um, you always cut them back um, in the beginning of the year. So they regrow yes. entirely from beneath the soil. Oh. And then they cover the entire arch in one year. I'm so um, excited. Yeah. I'm really excited. And the blackberries, any idea? I keep falling in trenches. Um, how long is it going to take for blackberries to start to go around? Uh, well, they take a little bit to establish. So, mm. so it could take, uh, again, this year for them to, 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 to grow out enough roots. Yes. Uh, and then next year they should have uh, shoots that cover the entire arch in about a month. Um, so the shoots I wasn't are, expecting that. Yeah. Next year is going to be a very exciting year. But this is too. Let's have a look at one of the blue flowers as yeah. well. It is beautiful. Yeah. Do you have a favourite of the ones that you ordered? Uh, for me, I like blue. Uh, so these ones, uh, the group three ones, Polish Spirit is a little bit more purple. And the uh, Polish Spirit is the one that arrived today, so we haven't seen that yet. Yeah. No, no, it'll only sure flower it'll be in a couple of months. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm happy we've got some already. Thank you, Davy. I love it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Selma. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> and you're wearing the new apron with the apples. Yeah, and, and, and these are Kappa too, eh? Oh. <laughs> make... <laughs> oh, Diesel is looking excellent. So we. Uh... Good. We come to make apple pie. <laughs> 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 and we've also bought another cake. I know you're making the apple pie, but just so that it yeah, goes far okay. enough. Look, we've bought this cake for your birthday. Oh, oh. maybe maybe you're not allowed to see it actually no. until the evening. Wait, no, no, we'll wait. Don't peek in the pink box. No, no, no. I saw it when I bought them. Mm, no, 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 no. <laughs> We're wandering around the chateau, showing Michael all of the changes that have happened mm, since he was lot. last here. It's a lot. That takes all day. Yeah. <laughs> it is all day. <laughs> It's quite exciting. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's Excuse go. us, Diesel. Diesel, um, you're still in a little bit of disgrace after walking all over the lime creek floor. Yeah. I don't think he minds. <laughs> I think he's like, yeah. He's so, lucky, uh -huh. he's lucky that he was not stuck in there. Oh, I know. Like, oh, 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 shoot. <laughs> Oh, he's lucky. He it's a pity we can leave the little prints, you know, for a memory for the yeah, future. Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't, I saw it. Yeah. But the next day, somebody took it away. Yeah, yeah, they fixed it all. I want to make a picture or something about it. There's a bit of video.
video. Oh, so if you watch the vlog, oh, you'll see there's a bit of video oh, of it. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, see you later. See you later. Bye. <laughs> After you, sir. After you, and really made me look down. Wow. Well, I don't know how much of this you'd seen, actually. No, have you seen the chandelier? Uh, that's been no. up for a while. No, I haven't. No? That was, that's, um, yeah, that's beautiful, actually. But yeah, the best thing ever is the way someone's done this. Oh, wow. for, obviously, it still needs a bit clean, it's yeah, still a little yeah, bit grout, it, it but. Looks, it looks like it's always been here. That's, that's what I'm so happy about. Perfect. Let's carry on. Right. So Michael and I are going to carry on walking around everywhere. The patrons can watch that because this week's patron video is going to be a wander around the chateau with Michael. After that exciting wander around, I brought Michael into the okay. office to show him the possible ideas for the windows for Natty's apartment and Jerry's yes. apartment. So this, you will recognize, yes. is what we have now. Yes. And Jerry's apartment will be here, and Natty's apartment will be here. Okay. And we first did this mock-up of continuing the same style of windows for Jerry's, but making them longer so that you can open them with little Juliet balconies. Nice. And then having a door, but it would actually be glass here as well. We just took a picture of the kitchen door mm -hmm. and two windows. But I just felt it looked a little bit bitty. Yes, and I don't know if that shuttered. Well, the shutters are just because they were okay. what, what we had pictures of. Okay. Um, so we rejigged it like this. Two Ooh. full length uh, windows and French door in the middle. I mean, technically they'd probably all be French doors because you have to open the windows so they'll act as doors, I think. I, I actually like this one more. I like this one, what? Yeah. I think that's just a bit more in keeping. Mm -hmm. I like this better because I find it visually, ignore ignore the shutter, okay, the yeah. shutters are a mess in both. I find it visually more harmonious, okay. um, less busy. I like this one because it's it's got the, it's the better balanced, having the, the central piece and then those two seem to be more balanced. Mm -hmm. Whereas there it feels a little bit overwhelming to me. There's too much window. What does everyone at home think? I'm really curious to know people's opinions on these. Um, yeah, I'm, I think I prefer this one by quite a lot. Mm -hmm. What we are doing to the building that is existing, we're keeping exactly as it is on the old side. Uh, or where they've rejigged with seriously no taste, on the wing that they redid. Yeah. Then we can change it to be better. And in a new part that hasn't been done before, I think we can plan to be beautiful. Okay. Uh, I don't think that we need to copy something that didn't really work in the past and keep doing it over and over again. Should we go out and have a look at it in situ? Okay, that's and a good idea. And then we can idea. compare with the windows that we've already got. Yes, we've just been there looking inside, but we didn't look outside. Like, let's go back. It's, I think it's, it's going to work as a whole. Mm. So the whole, um, that, that whole row of windows. We don't want to introduce something that is going to look like it's a different apartment. Mm. It should really be a continuation of, of everything that's there, but at least visually, so that it, yes. it, it's a Yes, yes, let's go outside. Mm -hmm. Look what we've seen on the way. <laughs> Brico Marche have been superb. Look at this. It is so lucky that we went to Brico. It's so good that we have it here. Yeah. That means that Ian can finish the floor, right? Yes. They realised it was an emergency and they got it and Ian's already been able to go and collect this. So we can carry on. How, many, how yes. many rolls did you get? Uh, actually, this is a tiny, tiny proportion because yeah. we got 100 rolls. Wow. Yes. 100 rolls or 100 metres? 100 rolls. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. So he wanted to get started, so he mm -hmm. went back with the van and collected enough to get started, Good. but they're going to deliver the rest. Because it's going to be half the attic, and then because the other half will be left open to there's, maybe do the ceiling. There's lots of insulation for uh, the attic and then for uh, the that wing. wing where Natty's apartment is, etc. Right. all down there. So we needed a lot, and we're worried. We're trying to forward stock because mm -hmm. everything is running out in terms of building materials, and we've got yeah. so much building work this year. Because of COVID. Yes. Yeah, it's been really hard to get anything. Okay, let's go and have a look outside. So what do you think? Ta da! Okay. Well. I just tell everyone that behind the camera, it's not Philip, it's the elusive Nick. As the third owner, he's come out to decide as well. So uh, just with a series of nods or head shakes, let us know what you think, Nicky. Okay, I'm gonna poo before we start. Yes. I'm gonna poo poo the Juliet 
uh, balconies. Ah, I think I have something that might change your mind. Okay. You would like to have a huge estate office in the distant future one yes. day on the top floor of the big hangar. Yes. And if we do that, then we're going to want a balcony this way yes. facing the chapel. And that's just next door to this. It's literally that will yep. be the next window along. Yep. So in fact, we would see this Juliet balcony longer window as the start of the new series. The new series. So it wouldn't just be, you know, two randomly. It will be those two, then probably a bigger balcony, then two more Juliet balconies in what might be Oliver's apartment. So the one downside of doing it is that this gutter needs to have a downpipe. Oh, I never think about practical things like that. You're absolutely right. Yes. But... Okay, but everything I, is doable. I, I see your point on the design side. Uh, but yeah, we can see another gutter, so... We have to think about light because you haven't been up to the room recently that no. will be Jerry's apartment and it is very dark. it's very dark. Natty's room is also very dark. So my view is at putting in something you let's maximize light okay. as much as possible. Okay. Nicholas, exhibit A, exhibit B, which one are you going to choose? <laughs> uh oh, was that A? Drat you! Well, look, so you've got this, this line of windows that, that is pretty much continuous. Yes. Now, it comes to... Oh, that's interesting! It, it, it comes along to, to about over here. So, in fact, they're very low. They would be lower than that. Yeah. I, ah! I think if you carried on that line... Um, it, it, it By Jove, in, I think you've got it! In keeping. And it's a bit of a compromise. It's halfway between the two. I think you're right. Do you agree with him, Nick? I'll explain what he means. Here, you can see we've got two windows at the same height. But what Michael has so brilliantly pointed out is that the windows stay level even though the floor doesn't, which is something that I hadn't noticed. So each window gets lower than the one before it. You see, this one's very low to the ground, which would mean that if we carry on with the same plan, this one will fall quite low, down to about here anyway. And the last one will be practically on the ground. But that way, we're staying in exactly the same pattern. Yeah, I, I think they should, they should be the same size and shape of, of those ones. Happy with that idea? Good. That's a, a unanimous decision by the shareholders of the Chateau de Lalande. <laughs> Well, actually, that was perfect. I really think that the three of us together come up with a perfect plan. Yeah, I think that's going to be nice. Yeah, I will talk to Ian about it. And I'm going to go up to get our apéro ready because, Nikki, you remember you're coming with Marie for aperitif in my boudoir this evening? So we can plan all of the decoration of the gardener's cottage. All right, see you then. We have been having a very nice aperitif, but we did. I have to get changed because I'm not in black. We have to be in black for Salma's party. True, I'm half black, so I think that's acceptable. I think you're fine, but I need to get changed, so I'm going to do that very quickly. And then we can go down to the party. Yes. See you there? Exciting. See you. I'm all in black at a dress that I received in Caddo at the Chateau and ready to join the party. What a sight, Salma! That just feels right. Was it present? You're joking. I'm also wearing the present from Caddo. Do you recognise it from last week? Yeah, yeah, beautiful. You look amazing. That, that, you needed that. It was present from Tatiana. No way, okay. Tatiana knows you well. It's superb. <laughs> You look beautiful. Thank you. Look at all these elegant people in black. I like it. I'm natty. Wow. Oh, Philip. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. And, and Michael well, too, Michael. but seriously. Michael, you just need to be a little bit more transparent. Get with know, the program. <laughs> I'm overdressed. <laughs> Mini sausages. Ooh. That's the start of an excellent night and fondue. Selma, I love your birthday. <laughs> Who would like red wine? Yes, please. It's trop belle, Selma, you're holding something beautiful. The pie. Can I show the world what you're yes. holding? Yes. 
Wow. This time I did it with some nuts also. Mmm, I love so, walnuts. Uh, it looks beautiful. This, this dessert with some cream. It's very good, Selmar. Selmar, it's beautiful. Yeah. <gasps> I haven't tasted it yet, but I'm just enjoying looking at it, which is half the pleasure, it's, frankly. It's better than Winkle Cake. Well, In Amsterdam, shops. there's oh, yeah, a... Shops. There's a cafe on Nordermarkt called Winkle, oh. and it makes the best apple pie oh, in the whole of Amsterdam, and it's not a touch on us. I've actually had apple pie there, and you're right, it's not as good as this. But you see, this apple pie master has been crowned the ultimate apple pie master. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And cocktail master, it looks like. Thank you, Selma. Selma has made the kiss of Lalande, which we last had when we did our big yes. competition. <laughs> Come dine with me. Can you remind me what is in the kiss of Lalande? It's a, a spoon of sugar, a little spoon of sugar, cranberry and cantal, mm. with a glass mix, and then coffee on top. Delicious, thank you. <laughs> That's hot. Mm. Yes. Oh, it's hot. Steaming. Can you get the lights as we go in, Philip? Here we go. Happy birthday, dear Selma. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray! <laughs> wow, you cannot blow that out, eh? No, you have to just in the hope that it will one day go out. <laughs> <laughs> I have this. Oh, Yay! Wow. Your wish is going to come true. Oh, no. <laughs> A huge thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of Lalande, Yadel and Ether, Alice Allen, Dan Banda, Wailing Banshee, Brian Barnard, Brandon and John, Michael, Cecilia Begum, Denise Behrens, Daniel Banakovic, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Harolina Calabro, Chloe Chalacani, Lindsay C. Chelton, Stephen Sarah Cole, Linda Sue Concepcion, Zoe Dorks, Jim Demersman and Richard Paternord, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline Furster, Fifi Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Priscilla Hubler, Brian Kelsey and Phil Burnt, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, Dave and Summer Lalan, Morgan Lawley, Victoria Lapine, Janet Huff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Meredith, Robert Miller, Joanne Morton, Kathleen Norrie, JC Award, Maureen Palmer, Frank Poposky and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahm and Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Rojak, Penny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Carl and Laurie Siebert, Teresa Sloan, Patty Suhu, Matthew Sinclair Wilson, Susan Stevens, Sabrina Surrett, and the Leaf House. Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troy, Renee Valelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Cheryl Whitaker, Linda Vies, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Coppapoo, Greg Wood, David Young, and Lodovico Zordonazzo. And thank you to all of you.